Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. It's me Natsu here, and today we're going to be taking a look at AGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta on a 200% leader skill. Now, um, I think you can look very, very impressive on a 200% leader skill, and although we do have the STR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta's EZA, I think it'll be good for at least global players for now to see how this guy does under this leader skill condition, uh, since his EZA won't be out for still around like, what, like three, four-ish months or so, right? So you're still gonna be using this guy for quite some time. Um, yeah, and, you know, obviously he has pretty good defenses. These are the equips I built with him. I built him a lot offensively. Um, I might change this defense. I don't think I will. I think I'll just keep it like that. Uh, again, he's full level 10 links, rainbowed out. Let's see how he looks like today. So, he's starting off at, well, we should do this right here. So, with this, we only had, like, a few links active. But with this, we're going to get... Uh, Super Saiyan, prepared for battle, Saiyan Pride, GT, and first battle. Fortunately, I feel like GT Vegeta will kill. Will he kill if I do this? Um, he probably would. I'll probably get Saiyan Pride. We'll definitely get Saiyan Pride some, sometime during the video. Damn, that, this sucks, actually. Uh, my desk just kind of did that. Will this kill? Yeah, I think it was so, because we have a GT hero. Oh, well. That's fine. I, I I would prefer to get an attack with Vegeta over not getting an attack with him. So, let's see how hard Vegeta will hit here. Yeah, 5.36. So, the thing with Vegeta, he does greatly raise uh, defense for one turn. And then he raises attack by 30% for six turns. So, over uh, you know a couple of turns and things like that, he will start raising his actual offensive number. And he'll start getting more and more powerful. Things like that, right? Which will really allow him to... Um, you know... Get some nice offensive numbers. Especially if you're able to get additionals. I do like the greatly raised defense. Though I feel like... Looking at his defense last turn... Oh, Vegeta. Oh, we don't have a Trunks on the team. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, I almost forgot. We do not have a Trunks on this team right here. So he's not getting the damage reduction. Uh, that's very important to notice that... God, he took a lot of damage even for that. Okay. Um, so we no same pride here again, but we'll have the same links. This is about 40% support from this Xeno Vegeta. Yeah, he's at 184k defense. Again, he gets, um, what's the word? He gets 50% defense on super attack. So his defense is going to be nearing like 300k. He has a 30% chance to counter super attacks. And then he's going to hit a nice 6.4 million attack stat. Looks pretty good to me so far, honestly. The only thing is that he does want to be a slot 2 unit. And, you know, like, if you're running, like, with G2 Vegeta and, like, this event, it should be fine. But, like, in the actual red zone, he probably won't be able to handle himself that well. I got these 6 with you. I'll get these 6 with you. Um, I'll heal up. Just to be safe, I don't get this with you. Okay. So next time we're going to be able to get Saiyan Roar active. Saiyan Roar does give us um, an additional 25% attack and 10% defense. The only unfortunate thing about this team when it comes to Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta's is that Vegeta doesn't actually... Um, there's like a, not another real good Vegeta that like is... Or how do I explain it? There's, another, there's not another Super Saiyan 4 that's on the Vegeta family category team. The closest you can get to that would be the int great ape free to play vegeta but you're not really gonna run him uh in my opinion right so yeah because he kind of sucks obviously right okay cool oh this shouldn't be that bad but yeah uh with the great ape vegeta we won't be able to get the additional say in a roar link which would be very good for us uh we'll get this with you we'll grab these with you and we can get all these nice tech overs for you huh pretty pog yeah it's pretty good for ux not not really that great but okay so you had 170k defense still uh we do have Saiyan roar active this time so he's gonna hit pretty substantially harder i feel like on this turn uh which would be very good very 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 good. again 25 percent extra attack is a huge amount okay you're good yeah 6.7 uh look at that jump he went up like a good 500k bam okay um i think we did we see enough of him right here? I think we did see a good um, amount of him right here. Um, I don't think there's really uh, anything else I have to show. So, Oxy, I'm going to move on to the red zone. We're going to see how he does in the red zone. And hopefully he'll perform well. But um, we'll have to see. 
All right, here we are against Omega Shenron. So the reason, oh, of course, you're going to lock him right there. Uh, obviously, I'm going to use this just so we can avoid that locking. It's very annoying. Well, we can't get the six orbs with you, of course. Of course, great. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Fantastic, right? Okay, we have to put you here. So Vegeta right here, he's going to get, again, most of his things active here. 155k defense. Let's see how much he takes from um, Omega here. Majin Vegeta at the front will probably take a solid amount of damage, I think. Well, maybe not, because, yeah, this Omega doesn't hit that hard. He does lower attacking defense, though. It's kind of annoying that I could not get the six orbs, but again, that does happen. Uh, Yeah, look at that. Pretty good. <laughs> Thank you, Goat. Great. Uh, I mean, even with the six swords, we would have taken a lot of damage there. But we're fine, though. At least both super attack. Let's see what Vegeta takes on normals, if he takes anything. Six million from the get-go is pretty good. I don't think he will take anything in normals, though. No, he's still taking 20k, huh? The first phase. I mean, this guy, it's hard, but... I feel like... I wish he was a little tinker. It's from the start, right? That's a little tinker, right? Because... That could be annoying, right? Um, uh, that's fine. We'll get this with you. Should I do that? I think I'm gonna do this. I keep you on rotation. Did you get six orbs with you? I can. Okay, good. That is good at the very least. I can get the six orbs with you. We'll grab these. Okay. Yeah, I'll keep the other Maja Vegeta with the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. The only issue is... Well, they, I think they... I'm pretty sure they share Royal Lineage, if I'm not mistaken. Um, actually, you should check... Well, we could check his links next turn, right? This Vegeta should be fine. Uh, I found Vegeta to be pretty good tanking-wise once he super attacks at 55%. Before he supers, he'll, he could definitely take a lot of damage. But I, I guess this, this will be a nice showing to see what he could do here. Um... Once he's super attacked, right? Yeah, look at that. That's this is a fifty-five percent Majin Vegeta, dude. He took that. He pretty much ate that, dude. That's really, really good. We saw how much the Majin Vegeta took last turn. Like, that's the difference between that damage reduction being fifty percent or not, and him supering. Like, <laughs> it's a really big difference. But like, sometimes situations you have to play it out like that. Are you gonna lock him again? He sealed him. Huh? I have to do this right for the showcase. Oh, uh, that sucks. We're going to get this with you. That's fine, though. You don't give anyone extra links, huh? Prepared for battle. That's fine, though. We need to get these with you. Okay. Vegeta, you have 40% support now. Let's see what you got here, buddy. Um, He could counter. This Omega Shinron can be countered. Because you could evade against Omega Shinron. 20k... Honestly, I, think I guess I'll take that, right? Because the thing with this Vegeta is that I think it'll be really good specifically for the last phase. So, that uh, the second phase, I mean. The second phase will give you a lot of trouble because usually you just want to run a bunch of... um, You would want to run a bunch of physical units, right? And the second phase being STR could definitely leave you with some trouble. Uh, okay, we're just, we're just fine. We lowered his stack, right? Uh, you locked him, right? Yeah, of course. Annoying. It's fine. We'll get this with you. I'll give all these with you, actually. It's fine. Four orbs. That's fine. Because the thing with Vegeta is that even with the 30% damage reduction, I think, uh, Maldi Vegeta specifically, I think after he super attacks, even without getting the full damage reduction, he should be okay. Um, Should be. Is, is, should be. <laughs> Let me just clarify that a lot. Okay, you actually are hitting pretty, pretty hard. Get a crit here. I, I would ideally want to finish him this turn. I don't think I will. No, because Majin Vegeta at the end is not going to do enough damage. Mine, again, is free dupe, so he can't crit or anything. Um, another thing. But, yeah. Okay. Bam. We got the double super, actually. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll, I'll take the double super for sure. Okay, Vegeta. He's, like, almost dead, too. That's annoying. Whatever. Please stop locking me and shit. Okay. Um, well, this guy could just do this. I'll play the active skill and we'll finish him off. Then I'll skip to where we get him again.
Okay, so I forgot to skip on. Um, but that's fine. That's that's fine, right? So now we can no longer be locked in place, which is good. But now we could also take a lot of damage, which is uh, not good because this this uh center hits pretty hard. Look at this. Hopefully, uh, he does not hit the Xeno Vegeta. I think that's pretty much the thing. Oh my goodness. I think we're dead here. <laughs> I, I think Xeno Vegeta will take a little too much damage. Granny Vegeta took all that damage before he super attacked, man. And he's, he didn't... Unless he doesn't super S this turn, but I'm presuming he will super S this turn. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, uh, Who's really going to super the Xeno Vegeta, is he? That's cool. Great. Ouch. Yeah. Get the five dodge? <laughs> no? Okay. Um. I think he would actually do pretty well against Omega. Seeing how GT Vegeta didn't really take damage against them. Like, GT Vegeta is obviously stronger defensively, but... With Vegeta being around, like... But, like... 220-ish K defense or so. With a type advantage. But he'll, he'll still take some damage. I don't know. I feel like he could have been... Mm, defensively, he could have been better. Again, if you give, if, if you go full defense equips compared to full offense equips, I think that'll work a lot better for him. Um, so, I guess I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, right? If you had full defense equips in him, probably would take double digits on, on normals against the instant run around and definitely against the STR ones. So... I think he could be a pretty solid option, right? Um, against the last phase, he definitely would take a lot of damage. We all know Omega's <laughs> Omega does hit pretty hard, so yeah, that is ADL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta on a 200% leader skill. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.